Do you have short-term memory loss? You looked around ten seconds ago, idiot. I thought this was off. Fuck you. Just covering my bases, Jay. And short-term memory loss is a serious condition. Don't make jokes about it. You're fucking smirking. Don't lecture me about that shit. Can I help you? Sure. I'm here to talk to you about some of the going-ons at college. Going-ons? I don't think there's anything going-ons I can help you with. I'm just an English professor. Oh, I assure you. You're the one I'm looking for. Who exactly are you with? The government, technically. I have here in my bag records of money laundering, extortion, plenty of illegal activities on becoming of an English professor. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course you do. Now, this could put you in prison. What's interesting is you aren't using this money for yourself. So, tell me where to find Marcus Silver. I don't know. Yes, you do. And if you tell me, I'll make sure you don't go to prison. What do you say? I should be caught for security. There's nothing your security guards can do to me, especially once I tell them who I am. So, tell me where to find Marcus Silver. And you promise I don't go to prison? <clears throat> oh, I promise. He's in Albany. You've been a great help. Unfortunately, this has all been off the books, so I can't have you talking. No way. No, please. We can work something out. I won't talk. I have money. I'll become someone else. Say, Jay, I could do a burger for dinner. You? You'll wait the four hour trip back to eat with me? Yeah. Of course I will, Jay. We haven't been together face to face in ages. Can I get you? Uh, I'll have the cheeseburger, please. Feel lemonade. Would you like anything to drink? Uh, can I get a lager? Don't drink alcohol. We still need to go meet with the director. And a water would be nice. Coming right up. The fuck are you drinking for? It's one beer. I'll be fine. Remember that when you're getting in trouble with the director for being drunk? I'm not gonna help you out. <laughs> What's she gonna do, fire me? I'm quitting anyway. <laughs> That guy even old enough to drink. You know, your hair's getting long. You should get it cut before you start looking too much like your dad. <laughs> if you ever tell me I look like that again, I'm gonna have to kill myself. I mean, I do not need to be reminded I look like the goddamn Dewhurst drag queen. Stop smiling, asshole. I remember when you played a gnome in our second grade play. Anything else at the moment? Um, nope, all good, thanks. I've missed seeing you, man. Talking on the phone and all is fine. But seeing people in person is so much better. Shut up before you make me cry. If you had been here two hours ago, as you were supposed to, you wouldn't have to stand there and wait. But come in. The mission went well. Excellent. I wasn't positive assigning you to this mission was the correct choice, but you seem to have done well on your own. I assume I'll get the details in your mission report. Have you written it yet? Not yet. Were there any other affairs you wish to discuss? I'd like to retire. I see. Well, I'm not surprised ever since. I'd prefer not to talk about that. I insist that you rethink your decision. You're one of the agency's finest, and I anticipate a lengthy and successful career if you wish to remain. I insist that I'd like to retire, Director. You have a contract. Retiring means breaking that contract. Do you understand the implications of your request? I. I understand. I'll stay. 
push over. I have nothing else. Have a good night. You may return to your quarters. I'll have the next mission to you by the end of the week. You need to stop being a coward. I'm not being a coward. I, I can't quit if the director doesn't let me. She's right. I have a contract. That's your breaking by going after Marcus Silver. Yeah, and she doesn't know about that. She'll know if I stop coming into work. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you the director's puppet now? You want me to take your hand and drag you through daily activities for the rest of your life? No, I'm not being a puppet. So you need to get yourself together and get out of here. There is more than one way to quit this job. You want me to help you go discover them? Shut up! I don't want to hear this from you. Sounds like you have to. Without me being here to speak up for you, you're just a fucking puppet for everyone to chew up and spit out. I'm doing this for you! Try doing something for yourself for a change. I'm going to Albany tomorrow. You still coming? I know the answer. Nice of you to join us, Agent. I'm just a thief who chose the wrong store to rob. Oh, God. We both know the agency sent you here. Was it about that, uh, unfortunate event that happened a few months ago? You must be scared. Trading your mansion for a rundown barn? <laughs> it pays to be cautious. Now, you were sent to kill me, I presume. <clears throat> Look, you're dying either way tonight, Agent. So you can tell me what I want to hear, and I'll make sure you die quicker. Agency doesn't give a fuck. Really? Even though I killed one of their own? It was one agent. I don't care about that. There are bigger problems. Then tell me. What the fuck you're doing here? You killed my friend. I want you dead. <laughs> well, you failed that one. And what was his name again? Oh, it was uh, Romeo. Rome, Rom, Romeo. Romero. Ah, ha! Agent Romero. What would he think? of your little failure. Yeah, yeah. Are you gonna kill me yet? I'm not going to talk about the agency and you can't make me, so you might as well kill me. Oh, no, no, look. There's no hard feelings. I mean, I don't know you and, well, you barely know me. It's just that, see, one of us has to go. And I'd, uh, I'd prefer it not be me. Obviously. Oh! Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh! 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 Well, at least they're next to each other. What'd you expect? 
something dramatic. It's not like I got anything better. I made sure you got a picture carved into yours. Yeah, of a bird. It's nice. Stop complaining. It's my God-given right to complain. How long do you think it will take the agency to realize I'm not dead? You actually die? I'm probably putting some bullshit request to be buried here next to me. To the hospital nurses and we'll get back to the agency. They're going to be so pissed you faked your own death. Oh, absolutely. I wonder if they'll think you did the same. We got you some flowers. They're chrysanthemums, I think. Figured it'd be a nice goodbye gift. About time, asshole. I'd get some from my own grave, too. Then what? Then I'll say goodbye, I guess. Say goodbye to me now. I don't want to be following you around like a lost dog anymore. Besides, you got what you wanted. Silver's dead. <laughs> you're a figment of my imagination. And yet you're still complaining I'm forcing you to do things. I guess that's on brand, though. Whatever you say. Goodbye, Matthew. Have a good afterlife, Jay. I'll miss you.